Okay, let's try this again. Hello all. Um, so this will be probably, hopefully, a, a not too long video because I can't stay on the computer that long. Um, you know, distance learning is a great and wondrous thing when you have a teenager and one really good, one good computer. So, yeah. So, let's get started. So, um, this will be a little bit about, well, primarily Raylar, uh, pure title, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about The Collective, which is this weekend, um, just because. So, um, Ring of Honor, Pure Championship Tournament, uh, the last match for the first round, or, or from the last show, which you can watch on Fight TV, if you have not seen it. I do recommend at least checking out some of the shows, because even though the wrestling hasn't been spectacular, it's all been really good, probably my least favorite match was on this show, but I don't think it's horrible, and I don't think it's like, just like, oh, you can skip it, because I, I just don't think it worked for me personally, um, I think other people might really enjoy it, so there's that, um, but I've enjoyed the first round, I've enjoyed the fact that you've had these video packages that they have had on every show, and the video packages have been done, and so good that you really, watching the video packages, even though you might have, like, underdog, underdogs, per se, you don't have guys who's like, there's no way that guy's winning, type of deal. Um, because they, they're, they're that good. And I think it's really helped, and it's, it, and all of that. Um, so this week we had Tracy Williams versus Russ Taylor, and PJ Black versus Tony Deppin. Uh, Tracy Williams versus Russ Taylor was really good. I really, really liked this match. It was a lot of grappling. It was a lot of submissions. It was a lot of that sort of stuff. If you don't like that sort of stuff, if you don't like like slow, methodical type matches, you're not going to like this. Even though they did pick it up a little bit um, during parts, but I really like this match. Um, this was Russ Taylor and Tony Deppin's first matches, I believe, in Ring of Honor. Um, and I really... I, I didn't like Tony Deppin as much, but I really liked Russ Taylor. Um, first time I've ever seen him, so that was cool. Um, Tracy Williams is, 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 really depends, I think, on who he's in the ring with. Um, but the match was really, really good. And then, uh, PJ Black, I like the package of PJ Black. I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of his in-ring work. Um, but, um, I thought the match was pretty good. Um, like I said, it's my least favorite of all the matches on, on this. Um, I will say that I think in the next round, they do, that hopefully, we get some improved, um, we get some better matches, because I think the tournament really needs that going forward. Um, I, I, I think you need at least one to kind of just, just, so it's just not just the same type of match over and over again. I think you do need at least one elevated match out of the next round, um, and then you can, you know, kind of go from there, but that would be my only really complaint with the first round. Um, I really, really liked the matches, though, and I thought I, I really liked this first round. Um, you know, I haven't watched Ring of Honor, Ring of Honor in a long time, so I really don't know everything that's going on. Um, we did have two video packages at the very beginning, at the very end of the show, which I thought were interesting. I guess either, either talking about new factions or new people, one of the things, or a new or something. Um, that I thought was interesting, that, that at the, the final one is the one where we kind of get to more, like, actual pro wrestling, which I, I think eventually you're going to have to do, just because it's, you know, this is great, but it's not something that they're, the, the setup of the show, but it's not something they're probably going to continue all the way through, so there is that. And then, of course, this weekend, um, you, we have The Collective. From Game Changer Wrestling, which was supposed to be WrestleMania weekend, but WrestleMania weekend it didn't happen, so they're doing it now, um, for good and bad and indifferent. Um, you know, there's a lot of talk about should they really be doing this? I don't know. We'll see. I, I will say, let them put on the shows. Let's see what happens, and then we can, you know, I will say after if if after the first day you can tell that maybe this wasn't the best idea. We'll see, especially with when you look at like what's what happened with NXT and AEW. But um, so they're doing the whole thing um, with uh, three days. I think 
each day has four shows, so that's 12 shows. Um, I'm, of course, I'm not going to watch every single thing on here. Um, I do wish, and I, I know that they're not connected, but I, and I'm sure that probably, just from what I know of Kaiju Big Battle, probably not something they would have done is this anyways. But it's probably the only thing that I can see that's really standing out that I wish was on this weekend that is not. Um, you know, if, if we if we if we just say, hey, what would you what, what would you have liked to have been on this? This is that would be the thing. So um, the three shows that I primarily am probably going to watch is for the culture. I love the idea for the culture. I like the idea for the culture when it when it was announced. It's very much changed since the day I would say it's announced to something probably a little different. I'm really curious about the people that will be there in attendance. I'm curious. I'm sure I'm, I'm very curious about this show. This show has a lot of I'm curious about it. Um, I'm probably not the best person to but we'll see to, to, to discuss the show. But I'm curious about the show. Um, and then Joey Janela Spring Break 4 because it's Joey Janela Spring Break 4. Um, I, you know, I normally really like the, the spring break shows except for the clusterfuck and Joe Janela versus, uh, versus, who is he taking on? Oh, uh, but can't even think of who he's taking on now. Um, Rock and Roll Express guy, uh, Ricky Morton. Um, I'm very curious about that. I think that could be really good. I've heard, I've, I haven't seen any of the Game Changer Wrestling, um, Southern shows, like Southern wrestling shows, so I don't, so I don't know, but I've heard really good things about them, and I imagine that's probably what we're getting on this show, so that's cool. Um, and then of course, Josh Burnett's Bloodsport, which I love. Josh Burnett's Bloodsport always have, um, so looking forward to that too. So we will see, we will see what we get. So um, I'm, I'm just kind of curious about what you, what we see, and then uh, we'll go from there. Um, but. So that's something I'm hoping to do in this week. The hopefully tomorrow, because today is Wednesday, so Thursday at some point, um, probably late, put up a AW review and then a G1 kind of catch up video as well. Um, so there is all of that. So yeah, I think that will do it. So with that. I am out. You guys have a good one. We'll talk to you later.